Hey, Jared with Trident Fly Fishing, and today we're gonna to be tying a great saltwater pattern. We're gonna tie the clouser half and half. Uh, it's pretty much just a clouser and a deceiver mashed into one. Let's get started. Okay, so in the vise, I have a Gamakatsu SL11 in a size one. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just start my thread, and for thread, I'm using mono. Um, mono thread is pretty slippery, so just make sure it's on there pretty good. Um, next, I'm going to put my eyes on, and I have a set of yellow dumbbell eyes, and I'm just going to measure so that they're about an eye's width behind the eye. Um, and then what I'm going to do is just create a little thread bump to kind of pull them into. Just going to help lock them down. It's so just cross wraps, um, and I like to rotate this just so I can see what's going on. Figure of eights. Just get it down there really tight. Adjust your eyes if you need to. And then take some wraps underneath the eyes. All right. Bring your thread back. And then I'm just gonna grab a little bit of super glue uh, and put it on the underside of the hook just to lock the eyes in. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to tie in is going to be my hackle for the tail. So I just have two match pairs here. And I'm going to tie them facing each other. And I want them to extend about two hook lengths. So one, two. I'm just going to prep them, strip the fuzzies off, double check my measurement again, and then uh, tie one in or one at a time, in. Make sure they're flat on either side of the hook shank. Get rid of that. So rotate the hook and tie it in on the other side. And get rid of that. All right, when you're happy, we're those are lock them down that looks about right to me just going to clean that up next i'm going to tie in the body and for the body i just have a pearl flat braid it's a size small um, you can use almost whatever you want for the body as far as flash materials so i'm just going to start that behind the eye bring it back Return my thread and wrap this forwards. Um, the underbody doesn't have to be too neat because you really don't see it. So snip that off. Um, I like to kind of bring my thread back through, just kind of rib it. It just helps with the durability of the fly. So next I'm gonna grab some white bucktail and tie in the belly. So I'm just gonna take um, hair from the middle of the bucktail so it doesn't flare too much. Um, strip out any really short fibers and then even up the butts to tie them in. So I wanna measure this to extend roughly to the halfway point on the hackle there. Just. Tie that in, rotate it around, and then tie it right behind the eyes. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to rotate that, grab my other bucktail for the wing here, and I'm going to use a combination of yellow and olive. Just grab about you know, 25, 30 hairs, strip out the short ones, measure, and then turn the butt square. Just tie those in right on top of the hook shank. Loose wrap and then tighten. Okay. That looks about right. Just check. Cool. 
Um, here, I like to add a little bit of flash, just a single piece of flash boo doubled over. You can add the flash. Um, you can leave it out. You can use contrasting flash. I'm just going to use pearl. And it's just going to give a little bit of a hint of flash, nothing crazy. Perfect. So next I'm going to grab some olive bucktail. Just trying to find a texture that matches what I have for the wing. If you guys ever tie with bucktail, always cut the full length of bucktail directly from the hide. And then strip out the short fibers and cut it to length after that. It'll just make it easier for you down the road when you go to tie again. Okay, so again, right on top of the hook shank. Make sure it's positioned correctly. Tighten it down. So for the last step here, I'm just going to add some peacock curl as a topper. And I just have four strands here. Um, they're not that even, but it doesn't matter. I'm just going to tie them in right behind the eye. Bring that back. Uh, make sure they tie down pretty well. And then just break these off. Um, the reason I break them off is it's a lot easier to get a clean tie-off point than if you use scissors. At least for me. Um, that's pretty much it. I'm just going to whip finish. And with mono, because it's such a slippery material, I like to put at least two whip finishes down. And then I'm going to finish this with super glue, just to really increase the durability. Hopefully it doesn't, just a little bit. And a little bit there. All right, and that's it. That's the closer half and half. Very simple, very effective saltwater pattern. This is my favorite color to tie it in. It's a great versatile pattern. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe so you can watch all of our future videos. And don't forget, you can get all the fly tying materials at tridentflyfishing.com.